Hello, this is Ty Anderson for Add and Express. In this video, I will show you how to utilize the owner draw features of an advanced bar for Internet Explorer when building an Internet Explorer extension with the ADX Internet Explorer for .NET toolset. The fact that the advanced bar supports owner draw is a great thing because what it does is it allows you to customize the display on the fly at runtime based on what's going on. So you could change icons, the, the color of the title bar, etc. depending on what's going on. If you move it to the top, the bottom, left or right, what have you, you could respond to that and change the way it looks at runtime, which is a nice feature, especially if you're wanting to get the attention of the user or just make it a little more dynamic and more meaningful depending on the context of your advanced bar. To get started, what we'll do is I have Visual Studio open already as an administrator, which is important when creating Internet Explorer extensions. You want to open Visual Studio as an administrator. So I've done that, and what I'll do is I'll click the New Project button on the toolbar, and I'm going to go to Other Project Types under Extensibility, and I will create an ADX IE add-on, and we'll call this IE Owner Draw, and I'm just going to choose my projects folder and I'll say OK. And here in the new Internet Explorer add-on wizard I'm going to select Visual Basic and leave everything else as the default so just go version neutral in my interopt assemblies. Say next I'll generate a new strong name key file and click finish and allow Visual Studio to build the project and load it into solution or into Visual Studio. Now we need to add the advanced part of the project, so I'll right click on the project name in Solution Explorer, click Add New Item, and in the Add New Item dialog box, I will select ADX IE Advanced Bar, and I will name this Bar Owner Draw. Say Add to add it to the project. Alright, there we go. So we have a nice little bar. I'm going to make it just design it a little bit uh, and click on there and for for back color I want to change it to just a custom color and I'll choose green and for title I will say owner draw sample or demo we'll go with demo and then let's add an icon as well and we will go to my demos folder where I have icons and we're going to choose to start out with is the fix button icon file and I'll say open that and we'll specify that specifies that icon for our advanced bar and while we're at it why don't we go ahead and I'm going to go to the properties of the project and inside of our resources I will change this to icons and I'll add to our project the fixed button and the unfixed button and we'll utilize these in code just by having them in our resources makes it a little bit easier and I'll save and close. Now let's look at the events that we want to use for customizing the owner draw or using owner draw to customize the advanced bar and if we look at the events over here, make this larger. What we want to find down as we scroll down is the on header icon before draw, the on header text before draw, and the on header before draw events. And so the on header before draw occurs before the header is drawn in the bar. So this allows perfect time for us to take control and draw what we want. And the on header icon before draw occurs before the header icon is drawn in the bar. Same kind of idea, but for the icon. And then lastly is the on header text before draw, and this occurs before the header text is drawn in the bar. And so again, before the bar is drawn and then displayed, we can take, take control and do what we want there. So we're going to utilize all three of these events and put a little bit of code here. And so I will start with on header before draw. And what I'm going to do is just double click right in here to stub out the event. And then I'm going to collapse that so we have a little bit more room. So what we want to do with this event, the on header before draw event, is insert an if statement and what we'll do is take the argument of E here which is an ADX IE header before draw event args or event arguments and this 
E object is going to allow us access to the bar item and if it's and we can check its layout so here what we'll do is if its layout is ADX IE advanced bar layout left or else bar item layout is to the right and ADX IE advanced bar layout right then we're going to take a little bit of action here and what we'll do is we'll do using brush which right now it's a good time to come up here and add that I need to import system.drawing import system.drawing drawing 2D so we'll need those namespaces here so what I want to do is using brush as a new linear gradient brush we're going to create a new rectangle location XY 0 0 and then its width we want to again utilize the E argument and we're going to say E rectangle width so we're going to use the same width as what the uh, header has or the E object has which again is this uh, header before draw event arguments so we'll use the same width and we're going to do the same thing for the height we'll do E rectangle height now what we want to do for color set color and I'm going to set this to light blue and then system colors control and then we'll set the linear gradient mode to vertical now with this brush what we can do is say for E graphics we can fill the rectangle with the brush we just created and then pass the rectangle uh, from the E object to it and that's that's the first part if it's not a uh, layout left or layout right meaning it's going to be top or bottom uh, we'll do we'll do a little something else so we'll say else and in this case I'm going to just take this same code and I'll copy it and I'll paste it and in this case what we want is for the color I'll change the color to uh, lawn green and then we'll do the gradient mode as horizontal and last after the if statement we want to go ahead and tell the E object that it has been handled with this method done what we want to do now is add a new one for on header text before draw and this one will start out much the same way as on header before draw and we're going to start out with this if statement so I will copy it and we'll plop it down here with a paste and now in this one though what we want to do is add just uh, another if statement that says if me meaning this advanced bar if me dot focused if that's true then let's do some things like uh, using brush yet again as a new solid brush We'll set it as system colors control text. We'll say E graphics. We're going to draw a string. And here, what we want to do is use the title that, that we specified in the advanced bars title property. So we'll do me.title plus.
vertical. So that's the text that we'll draw onto the header. And then we'll say text font. And then we'll specify the brush. And then the rectangle as our point. There we go. So that's, that's what we want to do if focus. So if it's not focus, We'll use, we'll do something very similar, but in this case, the the color, we don't want control text, we want to use the gray text. If the position of our bar is not left or right, but is instead top or bottom, we're going to do a similar deal. Kind of take out these spaces, clean it up a bit. I'm going to take the same if me focused if statement, we'll do the same kind of thing, except here we want the text to be a combination of the title and horizontal. Copy and paste here. And so what we're doing is if the bar is left or right, uh, we want to check the focus and if it's focused, great, we'll do the title plus vertical as the displayed title and show it using control text or have the text formatted using the system colors control text. If not, we'll gray it out. If the position is not left or right, meaning it's top or bottom, we'll set the combination to be the title plus horizontal and do the same thing with the colors, either the system control text color or the system colors gray text color. Now the last method we need to add is the on header icon before draw which is going to do something very similar in that we are going to take the same if clause of checking the layout so I'll copy it and paste it into the event and then what we want to do is if the layout is left or right we're going to say the e.icon or the event arguments which is the icon or the uh, advanced bar so I'm going to change its icon to my resources fix button and if it's not if it's uh, top or bottom then we'll change the icon to equal my resources unfix button. What I'll do now is we'll go back to uh, the Solution Explorer and we'll open the IE module where we need to configure the advanced bar so that it displays and I will add an advanced bar manager just right click on the design view and at it and now I can right click on it even and do edit bar items and here I'm going to add the bar to the task panes collection so I have an ADX IE advanced bar item and first off is to do the bar type I'm going to select the bar type I have which is the IE owner draw that's the solution name for this project and then the bar owner draw that I that I added and we'll add that and for menu text I'm going to say owner draw demo and this would show up in the view menu within Internet Explorer right here and I'm going to set its visibility to default to true and everything else I think we'll just leave as is and say close and I'll save it now I can build the solution and register it on our system and then we can demo it within Internet Explorer. I'll click OK. I'll open Internet Explorer and we'll see the owner draw demo advanced bar here on the left where we see uh, the, right, the light blue colored fill, the right icon and then what we want to do here is if I move it to the top we'll see the, the icon change, we'll see the text change, and we'll also see the fill change and if I uh, move back and forth in terms of making the advanced bar the focus or not, we'll see that the text does uh, change from the control text back to, or to the gray, gray text as well. So as you can see, using owner draw with advanced 
Explorer bars is a nice feature versus using standard Explorer bars in your Internet Explorer extensions. It allows you to do some things that would sh change contextually in how the advanced bar displays in Internet Explorer and can add some nice interactivity to users depending upon what's going on with your advanced bar and what's going on in your application.